Grinner Mortals. You are watching Dead Grins Customs. Like this video and subscribe to this channel before I destroy you all. Don't you like this color? Isn't it as beautiful as his customs? Go on, worship this channel or else. Hey, what's going on Dead Grinners? This is Dead Grin and welcome to another episode of Dead Grin's Customs. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the newest uh, Dragon Stars, Goku Black. So, let's uh, get right to it. Alright, so starting off, we have uh, the box. It says Goku Black. I bought this at GameStop. And uh, here is the uh, back. Featuring the, the guys from this wave were Trunks, Goku, I mean Vegito, and uh, Goku Black. And uh, they build the build figure. This particular figure comes with the uh, right leg. Alrighty, and then the guys previously in this wave were uh, Base Vegeta, Super Saiyan Gohan, and Ultra Instinct Goku. Alright, here's a side art. Here's the top. There's the bottom, and that's it for the box. Now let's go to the thing. Alrighty, and here he is in all his glory. So, it's basically just um, the like the one that came out in the second, I mean the third and fourth waves, like the the Vegeta, the, I mean the Goku Black, except now he has a base face. And uh, let's take a look at that face. It is really awesome. I think they captured a. Goku Black's grimace, like his like his menacing face, just perfect, man. This is obviously one of the the best fucking faces that they've made for Dragon Stars, in my opinion. It's probably, if not the best, because it looks the closest to the actual character. Most of them they end up having too much of a round nose, you know, and the eyes don't really they don't get certain dimensions right. It's so weird. That that's usually the hardest feature, I think. That they don't nail, but as far as uh, everything else, it's pretty cool. Yeah, of course, he um, like just like uh, almost every Dragon Stars, he comes with uh, the open palm hands, and then uh, two fists, and uh, this one comes with an energy sword. And uh, let's take a look at his articulation. So, the arm can go about that high. And um, if you move the sleeve, he can bring his up, his arm up, which is pretty cool, man. This is one of the probably the best uh, shoulders that I've seen on these figures. And then on um, the head, it looks about that's that's the most it could go down, I and mean, that's the most it could go up. That sucks, but uh, it does do the full 360. Um, this one is different in the sense that. He can actually kind of like, you know, move his, he can rock his uh, waist back and forth a lot better than most of the other figures. Of course, the um, the belt and the skirt are a separate piece. Um, the legs can go that high. The knees, double jointed knees, it just looks really ugly because of that thing, but it's all good. And then um, his feet, it's on a, like a, you can only go about that back, that front, you know, side to side, you can do a full 360, doesn't have much of an ankle rocker though, kind of disappointing. Um, like it's the feature with most of these Dragon Stars, you can pull it down to extend the leg out, but really doesn't do that much, so that's about it for the articulation. Looks great to me guys, probably one of my favorite Dragon Stars figures that I've ever gotten. Ugh. He looks great, man. There is a quick uh, size comparison with the PyCon that Hachido figures made for me. And uh, but yeah, guys, I personally think this is probably one of the best of the uh, of this wave easily. His hair sculpt is perfect. His face is perfect. Um, and um, you know, like I said, some of the stuff, especially on the the shoulder, uh, the shoulder sleeve things that are on the actual peg, 
I mean, the actual shoulders are freaking awesome. They're movable and they're very flexible. They're not stiff like the ones that came with the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus. So that's my final thoughts on that. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Also, before I uh, close this video, I want to let you guys know that I've started a, a, a... If you have a Facebook, I've started a Facebook group called Dragon Stars Collectors. And uh, it's basically where we just show off each other's... Um, the, the the either the the ones you've bought uh, the ones you've customized or anything really related to Dragon Ball especially SH figure arts and figure rights because some of those scale incredible with um, the Dragon Stars but it's mostly the core of the group is you know discussing Dragon Stars figures so I'm gonna leave a link to that below if you guys do have a Facebook uh, so you guys can join um, and that's basically about it guys uh, another thing. I'm probably going to do the second part to my um, thoughts on the Dragon Star series where I review the four, third and fourth waves. Uh, so that should be coming out later tonight. But um, just have to show you guys this quick uh, figure review because, man, it's uh, one I've been wanting for a really long time. And I'm really glad I was able to find one at GameStop. So just check out your local GameStop, guys, if you guys are looking for one in your local area. If not, you guys can go GameStop or uh, Big Bad Toys. All right. So remember to visit Franken Culture at FrankenCulture.com. You can visit, you can follow them on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and you can also follow me, Dead Grins Customs, on the same social media platforms. Um, remember, if you go to Franken Culture and you look up my specific um, contributions, you'll see the posts relating to my YouTube channel and my Dead Grin Customs blog, where I just discuss either. Um, other fellow youtubers or projects outside of uh youtube all right guys so uh for everybody watching this in the morning good morning and for everybody else good afternoon good evening and good night